We've done observations of our own live caterpillars over the past few weeks. And then today we had the opportunity to have a video conference with the Ports program through the state parks. Today we're going to talk about some special butterflies. Um, anybody know what butterflies these are? Monarch butterflies. Monarch butterflies. So we had a state park ranger talk to our kids about kind of the life cycle of a butterfly and some interesting facts about monarch butterflies and migration and metamorphosis. And they had an opportunity to ask some of those questions that they've developed over the last few weeks while they've been studying and reading and looking at different information. Do they pump their wings again if they get wet in the water? It's going to dry out its wings I learned about butterflies today that if they get wet, they pump their wings and the water gets out of their wings. Before the video conference, the kids had an opportunity to observe the uh, changes that had happened with their caterpillars since the last time they saw them. They only really get to observe once a week since it's a lab uh, situation. So they had a chance to take a look and look at the changes and write observations, take photos and video of the changes that they observed. When I saw the caterpillars change, they were this big and now they're this big. Now today in our video conference, it's just one more really good way of gathering information about butterflies because the woman that we're going to be speaking to is an expert. What I want to do is show you the real life size of an egg. So take your fingers like this, pinch them together, and then move you. so touch your fingertips to Fingertips, you really smush them together then. See how you create that little tiny hole that you can almost see through a little bit? See that little tiny hole? That's as big as a monarch egg. I think it was really cool because it was like going on a field trip without leaving the classroom or the school. Here we go. So can you see it forming? Yeah. yeah. From here, we'll take all of that information that they've gathered over the past few weeks and we will work on creating our, our own films, our own videos, and putting together both the writing and the, the photography they've done, the video that they've done, and put it all together so that they can produce a product and, and teach other second graders and other students in general about what we've studied in this whole unit.